Hi, today I want to give you a short explanation of what grace really means. The Bible says that uh, the law was given by Moses and grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Uh, we cannot live this Christian life um, on our own ability. There was only one man who walked this earth that was perfect, and his name is Jesus Christ. And uh, if we are trying to be perfect, we, we cannot do it. It's impossible. It is basically impossible to live the Christian life. Uh, I remember as a younger Christian how hard I tried uh, and how I failed, and then... I learn about the grace of God that is in Jesus Christ. And I want to say to you, grace is the traditional saying of it. It is the unmerited favor of God, which is so true. I did not deserve to be saved, but God through his grace come and his mercy and he saved me and he set me free. And uh, I was included in everything that Jesus has done for us. That's the grace of God. But grace got a deeper meaning. Um, that means that this man who is perfect, who walked the earth, who took sin upon him, who died, who overcame death and hell and sickness and is seated on the right hand of the Father, this man come and live in me. And he is the grace of God. And he's dwelling in me and he's giving me the ability to do what I cannot do in my own ability. And that's the grace of God is that now it is not a relationship from the outside in anymore. It's a relationship from the inside out. And that's the grace of God. And that if I have to take grace out of my belief, God is not in it anymore. I am on my own. I will struggle. My faith is a positive response on what Jesus has done for me or a positive response on the grace of God. And we cannot live this Christian life without grace. And what grace teaches me is that Christ, the grace of God, come and live in me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. He gives me the ability. The word Christ means the anointed one. That means ability come on me and uh, in me. And he helped me to do what I cannot do in my own strength. My focus is now what grace does. It takes the focus away from myself. It takes the focus from my performance. And it puts the focus on Christ Jesus in me. I begin to see by faith what Jesus has done for me. His uh, finished work has now come into me. The Bible says that the fullness of the Godhead dwells in him. And you are complete in him. And I am complete in Christ. And I sta uh, stand before the Father complete because of the grace of Jesus Christ. And this is what makes this gospel so wonderful. Paul called it the gospel of grace. And this is the gospel that we preach. This is what is affecting the nations. This is what is going to change the world. People need to hear about the grace of God that is in Christ Jesus. The Bible says the love of the Father the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. It is through fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the grace of Jesus Christ that I am introduced to the love of the Father. There is no way that you can be touched by the love of the Father or being affected by the love of the Father if you don't come through the grace of Jesus Christ. And it's through His grace that I have been introduced to this wonderful Father of love that have absolutely nothing against us, that is now through the Spirit of His Son dwelling in us and show us this new life and this greatness that we live in.